everybody today. Um, usually I'm smoking a joint when I talk to you guys, but to my accomplices, but um, what I'm going to talk about today is a little too serious for that. Um, I don't know if you guys can read this shirt or not, but it says I have a pretty granddaughter, I also have a shotgun, a shovel, and an alibi. Um, down in the state somewhere, now folks, I'm, I don't care what your sexual preferences are, I couldn't give a shit one way or the other, so don't force them on me either, whatever, I don't care, I let everybody be their own, whatever they want, but, when, they start all this bathroom thing about letting, biological men or biological women use the opposite bathrooms and that my first thought was there's going to eventually be some problems okay um now if that's the way you want it I, I got no problem have a biological girl bathroom biological boy bathroom and everybody else they can have another bathroom i mean that would be the easiest solution but for some reason, we keep getting everything shoved down our throat, whether we like it or not. Now, this story, and uh, this poor little girl, I'd say she must be 14, ninth grade, anyways. She's in the bathroom at school, where she should be safe. Um, the boy, in a skirt, comes in the bathroom and rapes her. Now, of course she went to whoever, teacher, whatever the hell happened, okay? Now the school, the principal phones the dad and says, look, there's been a problem with your daughter at school. you got to come down here. Now the dad comes down there. You know, he's probably thinking, oh, there's some bullying or something going on. And he finds out what happens. And the principal says to him, well, we're just going to handle this internally. And the father's, no fucking way. Right? Like, why, in my eyes, the police should have been there before the father got there. Okay? Now, so of course the father is fucking irate, and I would be irate too. So they end up phoning the police, and the police take the father away, and the girl, and they take him to a hospital, which the school should have done in the first fucking place, and, uh, did a rape kid on her, proved it's all fucking proved. He got three or four charges. Two of them forceful sodomy. And I can't remember the other two. Now, this is all on the, I believe I've seen on the Daily Wire it's called. I don't know how to make links and everything to it, but I'm sure you, you can find it. Now... So, of course, he's charged and everything, and the trial date's set and everything. He's supposed to be under house arrest. Now, the school board's having a meeting, public meeting, about the use of these bathrooms and this shit. Well, this father shows up there, and the only thing you're going to see in the main, mainstream media about it is it, the cat cops tackling and resisting arrest. So you don't see the beginning of it. You don't know any of the context of what's going on. Right? Well, he was there, obviously, uh, against it. And irate in trying to say what was happening. Well, if you watch the whole video, I guess a cop walked up behind him and grabbed him by the arm. Well, the dad doesn't know it's a cop behind him. He pushes him away. Well, uh, you can't do that. So, whatever, they tackle him. But they don't charge him with anything. They just fucking get him out of there. Now, the school board sends out email to all the parents of the school. There's an incident at school and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, you would think that email would say that a young girl was sexually assaulted in one of our bathrooms and we're going to, whatever, resolve an issue, whatever the case may be. No. It was, there was an upset, angry parent at school and some of your children might have seen this. Are you fucking serious? Now, if, if that doesn't top it fucking off, the kid's still at school.
because less than two months later, I believe it's like a week before his trial date, which is a plea bargain, of course, he does it to another fucking girl. <sighs> Sorry, people, I just... I, I, I can't believe the way it's going. And like I say, I'm not prejudiced against lesbians, gays, whatever the fuck you are, that's your business. Right? But, let's see all you fucking leftists, liberalists, whatever the fuck you want to call, that are all screaming this should be fucking happening in these washrooms. Send your fucking daughter in there with them. Huh? If you're so fucking woke. I'm definitely going to have a smoke a joint after this, I'll fucking tell you that. Um, so people... You know, if you can, comment, tell me what you think. Like, am I wrong in the way am I thinking? Am I just an old fucking outlaw? And, and that's it? I mean... Yeah. So anyways, man, uh, send your prayer out to both these little girls. And can you imagine, like, both the little girls are, are fucked up from it. But can you imagine the second little girl finding out that the school and the police knew about this guy and he was still at school, not being watched enough that he could force her into an empty classroom and sexually assault her? <sighs> Fuck, anyways, you know... Um, yeah, man, just... You know, just, just <laughs> fucking hug somebody today. Whatever, man. It's just, it seems to be getting worse and worse, folks. And everybody's saying, oh, there's going to be a big change and big change. Well, I don't see any big change coming for the good anyways, right? So, be safe, people. And I can't.